name's Caleb Magnus, and I love soft drinks, especially Dr. Pepper. But if you're stuck with the wonder about what the history is behind the 23 flavors in this can, we'll wonder no more, because today we're going to discuss the history of this colorful, iconic American beverage. Now, according to DrPepperMuseum.com, Dr. Pepper is the world's oldest major soft drink brand. It dates back to 1885 in the small town of Waco, Texas. It was the brainchild of pharmacist Charles Alderton. And according to About.com, Alderton worked as a pharmacist in Morrison's Old Corner Drugstore, where of course they sold fountain drinks. It was Alderton's job to mix the syrups into the fountain drinks, and he loved the way they made the store smell when all of the syrups were mixed in different drinks. Well, he decided that he was going to mix his own drink to kind of create the smell of the store. And after several experiments, he finally came up with the certain 23 fruit flavors that gave him the smell he wanted. And after sampling it to his local customers, word soon spread of the unique flavor of Dr. Pepper. Well, according to assortment.com, demand soon became so high that they had to move bottling to Dublin, Texas. And there's still a plant at Dublin today. And the neat thing about it is it does double duty. One, it served as a museum for Dr. Pepper, and two, it's still a functional bottling plant. The neat thing about Dublin is that they still use the old formula for Dr. Pepper, which uses cane sugar instead of artificial sweeteners for it. Now, I have here a bottle from the actual Dublin bottling plant. As you can see, it's glass, not plastic, and it's quite a bit smaller, as in the old style, because things were cheaper and they were smaller. Now, another neat thing is that they have a older style design instead of this current design which is on the can. Now, demand soon even grew greater than what Dublin could hold, and a new man stepped in. His name was Robert Lazenby, and he was another factor in it. And Lazenby had big plans for Dr. Pepper. According to AssociatedContent.com, it was his idea to introduce Dr. Pepper to the world during the World's Fair at St. Louis. It is estimated that 20 million people tasted Dr. Pepper. Interestingly enough, this World's Fair was the same one that hamburgers, hot dogs, and the ice cream cone were first introduced to the mass public. And after the World's Fair, demand grew even greater, and they had to move Dr. Pepper to Dallas, where it now currently resides. And Dr. Pepper comes in all sorts of different flavors, diet and cherry, proving that they know they can cater to individual palates. A little known fact from DrPepperSnapoGroup.com is that Dr. Pepper used to have a mascot. He was an old country doctor with a monocle and a top hat. And they ran this character for about 20 years before they had to move on to the next one. In the early 1900s, research found that Americans' blood sugar dropped about 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 4 p.m. Well, this information gave rise to Dr. Pepper's iconic saying, drink a bite to eat at 10, 2, and 4. As you can see, they still incorporate the 10, 2, and 4 here on the bottle. 10, 2, 4. And, if you look, it's written in here in the background of this can. Now, Dr. Pepper has changed slogans a lot to match the times. And the current slogan is, there's nothing like a pepper. Dr. Pepper came from very humble beginnings. Started in a corner drugstore. And now, it's a multi-billion dollar company that sells all around the world. It's one of the most, world's most recognizable brands of Coke. Now they, they may have come from humble beginnings, and they may have changed a lot. They're now in aluminum cans, not glass. They come in different sizes, different flavors. But one thing Dr. Pepper's never lost is the touch with its fan base. The fan base that gave rise and made this the world's most unique beverage. Thank you. Are there any questions? Why is Dr. Pepper your favorite drink? Dr. Pepper is my favorite drink because, you know, you actually kind of taste a, a hint of a little fruit flavor in it, but it, your mind may be tricking you. But I like it because I really like the fizz. Most often I pour it. <laughs> but there's, there's lots of reasons. I, I couldn't name all the reasons I like Dr. Pepper. Why is it called Dr. Pepper? It's called Dr. Pepper because they needed something that would catch the eye of people. They needed something that would just pop. And since neither, neither of the people were doctors, but he was a pharmacist, he figured Dr. Pepper was a good idea. 
and it used to, as you can see, there's no period after doctor. That was dropped about 1950. Anything else? Thank you.